all right today let's do the hands on for cloud watch will be automating uh, trailing the logs and the logs will be automatically put into the s3 bucket we even don't need to create an s3 bucket we'll be doing everything from lambda so let's dive into the hands on for cloud watch all right we are at the aws console so the first thing would be to create a lambda function let's go to lambda we'll be doing everything from the scratch so let's first create a lambda function we'll be creating we'll be writing the name cloud guru amit uh, maybe cloud watch let's select the version we'll be using python 3.10 let's uh, use a role i have already uh, created a, a role which uh, looks something like this so we basically need access to s3 kind of uh, full access and also uh, cloud watch especially the log streams and all uh, these are required otherwise uh, we won't be able to use uh, the cloud watch features fully so i've used the existing uh, role which i have shown so now uh, let's copy paste the uh, lambda code which i have already put so let's do control c paste it we need to make sure like put a unique name for this bucket otherwise we'll be getting one error so let's uh, quickly go ahead with uh, the deploy so we are done let's uh, create one event let's uh, click on test save it so we are done uh, let's duplicate this tab we'll be needing uh, two more tabs one to showcase the s3 that is it is uh, created automatically let me show you that currently there are no buckets created or no files or no uh, no objects placed in any so uh, if we uh, click on go back here see nothing is there it's completely empty now uh, a lambda code will also create one bucket and put the cloud watch logs there so we'll be basically uh, trailing the logs so let's do cloud watch let's go to cloud watch i'm opening this side by side so let's uh, click on log groups uh, currently we won't be having any kind of log groups because uh, we haven't done anything here so uh, let's uh, just quickly run this test it will definitely create one bucket for us and uh, yeah, we can see uh, that uh, the request is successful uh, here so technically it should uh, create one a uh, bucket as well uh, see so now if we refresh here the lambda it's appearing now so if we open uh, this maybe uh, here if we start uh, tailing currently it won't show anything uh, because we haven't started uh, because it starts from this time let let me change the uh, bucket name and uh, create another bucket so i'll put one uh, random number here now let's uh, deploy we need to deploy it right otherwise our changes won't be reflected in the uh, final results so let's now click on test so whenever uh, just keep on noting it's blank here whatever activity we do related to this lambda will pop up now see everything is popped up see uh, the our bucket is automatically created this was the random number we have given so let's refresh it in the s3 as well so that uh, that's what our uh, purpose was uh, to uh, create bucket and to tail uh, the activities of the lambda i hope you found this tutorial helpful